You know, one of my favorite desserts is a Southern style peach cobbler. Just take a look at that. And then you top that warm, freshly baked peach cobbler with some vanilla ice cream and you've got one delicious dessert. Well, Tim Myers of Hotheads Official thinks life's a peach and he has created his peach cobbler habanero and peach hop sauce. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore. Okay, today I'm back again with another review for Hotheads Official. Now, Tim Myers recently sent me three of his uh, brand new hot sauces, and they are just amazing. Uh, his flavor profiles, guys, are just super, super delicious. They're savory. He's got this signature thing going on with onions and bell peppers. Um, it's just really super delicious. Now, he's got it. This is the third one that I'm doing for him recently. This is his peach cobbler. Life's a peach, right Tim? You bet, especially here in South Carolina. This is his habanero and peach hot sauce from Hotheads Official. It says here on the side of the bottle, hot sauce, not just for you, but for us. Using the freshest ingredients, creating unique recipes and amazing flavors that we love. Let's start the Hotheads Rebellion. All right, now the heat indicator on this one is three out of five flames. But beautiful looking labels on his hot sauces, very nicely done. Hotheads official, delicious, rebellious, beautiful. All right, now as you saw from my intro, one of my favorite desserts is a peach cobbler. And topping that with vanilla ice cream, it is just out of this world delicious. And here's what it says about uh, this uh, peach cobbler hot sauce on Tim's website. Just like grandma's classic peach cobbler pie, this hot sauce features habanero peppers and packs an amazing peach flavor with cinnamon, ground cloves, and nutmeg. Now, usually a lot of times those three spices are optional in a peach cobbler. Just depends on how you make it, but I do like those spices. A fruited sauce with a medium slash hot heat is just right as a dessert sauce. Top off your vanilla ice cream, fresh or grilled peaches, a summer salad, or try it in a bellini. All right, I bet that'd be awesome. Whatever you choose to put it on, pretty soon you will be saying, life's a peach. All right, check this color out on this one, guys. Look at that nice, beautiful, peachy color. It's made with orange habaneros, I believe. We'll get into the ingredients here in a minute, but just beautiful looking color and consistency on this one. All right, before I forget, here are the ingredients on this one, guys. We start off with, it's all natural ingredients, and we have white vinegar, peaches, orange bell peppers, yeah, sweet onions, orange habanero peppers, sugar, salt, cinnamon, ground cloves, citric acid, and nutmeg. I think the only thing you're missing, Tim, to make it a real peach cobbler would be some butter. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and check out the aroma on this one. As you can see, I've used quite a bit of this one already. Wow, beautiful flavor on this one. Um, you get a nice sweetness, you get the peaches, you get the kind of the spiciness in the background of the habanero peppers that are in here. But you get that nice spicy, it's not overdone, that combination of cinnamon, cloves, and nutmeg. Now this can be some very, very uh, powerful spices uh, if you use too much of them, but I'm pleased to say in this sauce it's very well done. So it's a nice balance of those uh, spices with the cinnamon, ground cloves, and the nutmeg. Yeah. So a nice spiciness, a, ni a nice dessert smelling type of fruity hot sauce. Doesn't smell vinegary, but it kind of reminds me of peach cobbler. That's a good thing, right? All right, here we go with a spoonful of peach cobbler. Yeah, I bet this would be good on peach cobbler with the vanilla ice cream on top. All right, here we go, straight up. Mm. Oh. Very, very nice. You get the sweetness, you get the peaches, you get those layered spices, the cinnamon, the cloves, the nutmeg. It's not overpowering. Um, if for some of you who just cannot stand cloves, you want to try this, give it a chance because it's not overpowering in cloves. Um, sometimes you can use 
cloves um, instead of nutmeg or nutmeg instead of cloves but Tim decided to use all three cinnamon nutmeg and cloves but I think he did it in such a way that it's really nicely balanced so it's not overpowering not overdone in those spices but you get some nice sweetness you get the peaches you get the habanero not overly spicy on this one um, just a mild habanero so it's not a real stingy habanero type of hot sauce if you know if you uh, know what I mean Probably I'd give this one just a 3 out of 10 for heat, um, but super, super delicious. Now, you know what I really enjoy on, on pork chops is peaches. So here's what I did. I've made some what I'm calling habanero and peach glazed oven baked pork chops. Those came out really, really good. I just kind of used this as a uh, finishing glaze a little bit on some mildly seasoned uh, pork chops. Serve that up with some succotash. If you don't know what that is, that is lima beans and corn mixed together ah, that is delicious and some uh, mashed potatoes oh that was good so another winner uh, tim this is delicious really really super delicious peach cobbler i love that idea with this one life's a peach so guys check this uh, company out if you haven't already hotheadsofficial.com is the links and that will link and that will be in the description tim thank you so much for sending your sauces i greatly appreciate it Guys, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. All you have to do is click that Enjoy the Burn logo right there and then hit that notification bell so you don't miss my next video. Thanks for watching. A lot more coming up, so stay tuned. And until then, make sure you enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.